Good morning, Unity of Payson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we can do better than that. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, much better. I don't know how many of you were here for uh, the concert that Jim Sorensen did. Oh, I'm trying to remember how many years ago it was now. They, st well, we did that one, and then we also did the one when we were over on Easy Street, and both of them were, people still talk about that concert here in town. If we can ever talk him into coming back, oh, please be there. It was, it, he's absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, well, we're glad that you're all here and glad everybody is with us online. Reverend Neil and Donna are in Mexico on vacation. So hope they're having a super time. I don't think they have cell service, so I don't think that they'll be with us online. But well, we're glad that you're with us. And let's open with a little bit of prayer, just to center ourselves, allow our energies all to sort of blend and come together. Let's take a nice deep breath. As we come together, celebrating our own uniqueness, celebrating that creative spirit that we have and the potential of the creative spirit. We know that we are connected to divine source. We know that we are connected to each other. We celebrate this ability and we are so, so very grateful that we are in a community that allows us to play in this way. For this and all else, we give thanks, and so it is. So, great. Now, so I don't see anybody here for the first time. If, anyone, if you're new and you're here for the first time online, uh, you can give us a little comment in the chat where you're joining us from. And if anybody hasn't already signed up for the Monday e-newsletter about all the events going on, please do so. Because at the end when we make the announcements, we only announce a few, but there's a lot more going on. So please do. And um, if you want that e-newsletter, it's go to unityofpayson.org and leave us a message. And so... Um, oh, we're do oh, I ran right in, I ran the two together. Yep, that's okay. We'll do the opening song here in just a second. So, together, let's bless each other and everybody new. Together, 
We love you, we bless you, and we welcome you. Yeah, I get to do it all this morning, so sorry about that, Terry. No, that was me. That was me. And our opening song today is Rise Up by Terry Wilder. And if you'd like, you can rise up so we can dance a little. Now's the time for our gratitudes. Um, if anybody has a gratitude online, they can certainly put it in the chat. And here in person, we have our Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer microphone. If anyone has a gratitude, <laughs> anyone this morning, I know I think the weather is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful up until about in the morning. And can we just hold the temperature there for the rest of the day? <laughs> Good morning, Crystal. Um, so I just want to say I was grateful. We went to San Jose last weekend to see my son and his fiance, and I'm just so grateful that he has found a woman I love as much as I could any any daughter. Um, and just so grateful that they have found each other and are getting married in three or four weeks. So wow. it's coming up. Oh, <laughs> yay. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for that, too. Both my granddaughters found really loving, compassionate, wonderful people. So, anybody else this morning? Not, not, no one in the chat. All righty. Um, unity is grounded in affirmative prayer and in meditation. 
Um, and we have trained prayer chaplains uh, to sit with you if you have a prayer need. Oh, and um, we also have a prayer box on the back table if you'd like to put a prayer request there. Um, I'm one of the chaplains. I think I'm it for today. Um, so if you have a prayer need, you can just tap me on the shoulder and we can go over to the other room and sit. Um, if you have a prayer need during the week, um, you can go to the website that's on the screen there, neil.unityofpason at gmail.com, and send a message to Reverend Neil, and it will get to um, all of us chaplains. And um, if you want uh, someone to contact you personally, please leave email, phone number, whatever, contact information in there. We hold them uh, confidential, sacred, for 30 days, and they get sent on to Silent Unity where they're prayed on for another 30 days. So don't hesitate. And so our theme, uh, this is the first Sunday, and so um, new theme, and it is created to be creative. And I love this one because I love being creative myself. And so let's say the affirmation together. I am created in the image and likeness of the divine. I am created to be creative. And our speaker, of course, yay, they're here in person, is Reverend Julianne and Manny, so yay. And her talk title is Embrace Your Creativity. Reverend Julianne serves at Interfaith Community. She has a lively and passionate approach to New Thought Ministry, A Course in Miracles, and the study of major world religions. Reverend Julianne offers insightful and inspired teaching that entertains, illuminates, and challenges, sparking spiritual growth. And their website is interfaith-community.org if anyone wants to get in touch with them or if you happen to live down in the valley. And next we have our metaphysical moment. And rather than the daily word, I was looking for something to be in alignment uh, with the theme of creativity. And this is a little different. Uh, it's from Science of Mind, and it's called Lighting the Way. Without the darkness, we cannot really appreciate the light. The musical Godspell by C Stephen Schwartz opened off Broadway in 1971. Schwartz's goal was to bring Bible quotes to life through improvised scenes in a joyous way for modern audiences. One of the many songs that became a hit is You Are the Light of the World, taken from John 8:12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We speak of light a lot in our teaching. We recognize the light in, in all beings, and we are encouraged to let our light shine. While it's often easy for many of us to see the light in others, it's not always easy to see it in ourselves. If your light's under a bushel, it's lost something, some, some kind of crucial, the Godspell lyric states. What causes you to dim your own light? Is it certain circumstances or people? Is it your own story? Take some time today to explore your personal dimmer switch and what you can do to ensure that it is set on high as God intended. My light is big, bright, bold, and beautiful. And being as this is the first Sunday, we have our mission and vision statement. And if you'd like to say these with us, together. We are a welcoming and open-hearted community, inspiring each other to live in love, joy, and service. And our vision statement. We enrich our world through spirit-centered service, positive human connection, and stewardship of all creation. And we certainly need that right now on the planet. And now, Reverend Julianne with her message.
I'm really grateful to be here with you today. I know I joined with you on Zoom, but this is better. <laughs> it's been too long. When Neil explained to me what he wanted to do for this month, I thought, well, we're on the same page, which is never surprising. Um, and what I thought, before, as I share some thoughts with you today, I want you to begin with making a picture. Have you ever watched a balloon release and those balloons go up in the air? Well, what I'm asking is that you picture that bunch of balloons and you see them floating in the breeze gently, but you see red ones and green ones and yellow ones and blue ones. You know, this beautiful collection of color floating up in the breeze, gently moving, all uniquely different in appearance and color, and yet each one is simply a means of enclosing limitless space. Now, in this sense, our thoughts and our experiences, they are like those balloons because life can become to us only what we allow it to become. And through us and the becoming, the manifesting, we have that opportunity in passing the wholeness of spirit into expression in our lives through the form of thought, what we give it, and then it flows out into that experience in a multitude of colors and ways and energy. Now, what I'm sharing is that creativity of the universe flows into our experience, our balloon, and through our consciousness, the sum total of our thoughts and beliefs. Now, that balloon will take some shape because we'll do it our way. And regardless of the energy that we fill it, it's still gonna take our shape. We are it. And it's fun because when we look around, if we have thoughts that are limiting, that are distorted, or we have thoughts that are loving, creative, and empowering, all of those thoughts are brought together in that balloon. What is our choice? So every material form is a manifestation of some pattern of thought. Our body, our business, our material possessions, our relationships are the balloons into which we are habitually blowing our attitude, our approach, feeding them with our personal consciousness. Now, it isn't until we come to a spiritual understanding of who we are, an awareness of that divine spirit within that we can release the ego fear, the negativity, and the self-judgment. And those balloons then begin to rise higher because they have become true to ourselves like we are. Now, what happens when we rise higher is we hear our song, we open our spiritual gifts, and we share them in a myriad of ways. So sometimes those balloons go up and we think they disappear. They appear to become smaller and smaller, but the reality is they become bigger and bigger. And guess what? They break free. And the energy, the thought, the love, the creativity that we have shared becomes the truth and is shared with all. So when we hear our song, we can recognize, as Mother Teresa said, yes, you must live life beautifully and not allow the energy of the world that makes gods out of power, riches, and pleasures make you forget that you have been created for the greater things to love and to be loved. You have been created for the greater things to love and be loved. And one of the most generous ways that we have to share love and to be love is accepting and sharing our spiritual gift of creativity because it is our spiritual truth. We are creative beings. That's our truth. For many years, beginning in second grade, I was programmed by teachers and parents that I was not talented in any creative way. <laughs> no piano, no voice, no dance, no art. Mouth the words when you sing. I remember being in high school, uh, 
it was my junior year and then again in my senior year, telling my dad that I wanted to go to Northwestern University and I wanted to be a photojournalist. Well, his response was, as long as I could type, I would have a full-time job. <laughs> However, as life went on, I began to see creativity in a myriad of ways. Why? Because I think so much of it was shut down. Hi, baby. I got to go to the dollar tree. So I began, right. I began to look at different ways. Now, my first job was in a furniture store, and I was there as a cleanup girl. And I would go in when the store was closing, and I would clean up for a few hours. Now, after that store closed, without asking for permission, I went ahead and rearranged how that store showed. Mm -hmm. The furniture, the art, I redid it. And two or three times that I had redone it, the manager came up to me and he said, nobody has moved this furniture around, so it has to be you. I said, yes, sir. And he said, you really have an eye for it, don't you? Yes, sir. He said, I think you need to be selling furniture in the store. He said, I think you'll do a good job with that. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, what happened after that is I was contracted to do uh, uh, open house floor displays and decorate houses, you know, that were put up for sale. Now, then, you know, life moves on and I was a hostess at a prime rib restaurant one day the salad chef wasn't there and they said, we need some help in the kitchen. Well, I became the salad chef. And to this day, I'm still a good cook. I use a little imagination once in a while, but I'm still a good cook. And I worked for Bell Telephone as a customer service rep. I learned how to use a sense of humor in order to get angry people calmed down so they would listen to me and know that we're working with them as best that we could. There were so many ways as a young adult that I began to realize that journey of creativity was never what I had anticipated or expected. And then in Psalm 139, and he has filled him with the spirit of God, with wisdom and understanding, with knowledge and all kinds of skills to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones to work in wood and to engage in all kinds of artistic crafts. Now for me, I think that those skills and innovative talents that are mentioned in that Psalm really sum up to us what creativity is. It's not just one thing or another. Being ordained 36 years ago truly has brought me to attention. Creativity is within each and every one of us in our own way. And I've witnessed and shared the blessings of creativity over the years. Oh, Jim Sorensen was a consistent pianist at our church. Uh, a tremendous talent, as you all saw, when he sang one of my favorite songs that he wrote. And I've witnessed that blessing and creativity in the artists that used to bring in their artwork and we would have there and the gifts of it and the different musicians and so many different people. But the most important thing was the wonderful people embracing their creativity and sharing their creativity were empowering me and others to do so as well. And that is the thing that really had me step up another step or two or three. <laughs> but Elizabeth O'Connor says, we cannot be ourselves unless we are true to our gifts. How important is it being to yourself? True to yourself. I believe that being true to ourself is being authentic and being honest. Sharing love and generosity was a very powerful way for me. It taught me to begin to learn to that song that's within my heart, the song of the power of divine love shared through the open heart mind. Now, I will say I am creative. Creativity can be messy though. It can be frustrating. It can be fun and enjoyable. It can be surprising. But the thing about it is, when we embrace our creativity, we understand ourselves better, and we have an open mind about others. 
I think of creativity the way that Albert Einstein said. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Do you love life enough to have fun? Yeah. yeah, of course you do. You wouldn't be in this community if you didn't. I know that. But the thing of it is to enhance the beauty of our life, we have to bring more laughter to it. We have to bring more music and poetry. And when we do those things, guess what? We become more truly helpful. The uh, quote unquote artist in me <laughs> is at peace when I'm creating with an open heart mind, when I'm seeing others' creativity with an open heart mind. I may see something and say, oh, that's really different. I don't think I'd want to buy that or take that home. But oh, it's really different and that's great. And I recognize the energy that was put into it. Now, we're, when we give ourselves permission to consistently ask Holy Spirit for guidance, we are going to create and mo manifest in so many different ways that we never, ever thought possible. Why? When we do that, it's creating with divine intelligence. And I found that the basic is to ask, Holy Spirit, what is the most loving thing I am called to do and to share? Is there anybody here who loves to paint? Oh, yes, yes, okay. What about who loves to garden? Oh, the, yeah, the wonderful plants and trees and flowers, you bet. And my grandfather was a pro at that. And when he used to come home for lunch when I would be staying there with him for a period of time in the summer, and we would sit out in front of the garden and he would tell me about this plant and that plant and what that one took and what this one did and have me go smell them and touch them and feel them. Oh, it was awesome. Who loves to just encourage someone else and motivate them? Yes. Is who loves to sing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> who loves to teach? Yes, there you go. Who loves to sew or knit or crochet? Uh-huh, there we go. And that list goes on and on and on. You know, who loves to train a dog? <laughs> <laughs> um, we cannot add more minutes to the day. However, we can make every single minute count when we're willing to celebrate life through our creativity and sparing, sharing our spiritual gifts as we're guided to do. Our day-to-day -day material world journey is like a vibrant tapestry, woven with moments big and small, calling us to gratefully embrace and share our creativity. So let us do so with creative energy. Embracing creativity can mean stepping outside of your comfort zone, trying new things, learning a new activity, reading a new book, going somewhere new. It can also involve challenging your boundaries, thinking outside the box, and breaking free from limitations. To use your time wisely, follow the guidance and the direction of Holy Spirit. That is the basic process in creativity. Pursue your passion, try something new, whether it's, you know, something simple like sharing laughter with others. This endless beauty and creativity that you are is how you choose to employ your day. The, the true value in how many days we have depends on how we infuse each day with our love and our happiness. So may this day and every day be filled with love and creativity. May you use it to share your gifts with purposeful moments that are truly helpful. Yes, to yourselves and to others. And then we will receive an abundance of creative blessings and more for us to share. So embrace your creativity. Your purpose in this world is to embrace your spiritual wholeness and holiness. You are a being of light. You are creative. You are loving. Your true self is that source of endless love and creativity. That pure love and creativity is your authentic being. So today I celebrate our creativity. I affirm imagination, inspiration, and inventiveness in every part of our lives. 
And today, let us reflect, listen and open our minds, hear our heart song this day and every day. May that full truth and power of our creativity be released and shared. Julia Cameron said that creativity is God's gifts to us. Using our creativity is our gift back to God. So now we have a wonderful song, Pure Imagination. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 we read there is an appointed time for everything a time for every matter under the heavens this is the time that we open our heart and mind this is the time we remember the love and the creativity that we share in unity so listening now to your breath feel that breath and if you're comfortable in closing your eyes, please do. If not, focus on a nearby item. Just gently settle in. Be comfortable. Follow that natural rhythm, the gentle rise and fall of each breath. Feel it coming and going gently, quietly. 
and let it guide and carry you deeper and deeper within. Ah, deeper and deeper within. Become aware of your heart space. Allow it to open. And now with that gentle rise and fall of each breath, let it carry you into that silent, open space of your heart. Deep within to the truth of who you are. Here you are safe. Here you are loved. Here you are one with the divine. And silently repeat, I am yours, God. I am yours, mind, body, and spirit. I feel your light. I feel your presence. I feel your love. I feel your peace. I am your creativity. In this now moment, we are safe. We are one. We are loved. One with the divine. I am yours, God. Yes, the gentle rise and fall of each breath. That silent open space of your heart. Divine light sharing the gifts of your spiritual truth. The gifts that are shared with each and every person here. Accepted, shared in their own way. The beauty and the light of those gifts. And now we truly affirm the gift of our creativity. We feel that power and beauty, that energy of pure imagination. We embrace our authentic creativity, recognizing it as who we are in our true spiritual self. Now picture a beautiful morning. <laughs> the sky is clear. There's a gentle warm breeze. You're comfortable. It's the perfect temperature for the day. And then a beautiful cloud is seen above. And it shares a very gentle warm rain. The water flows gently down your head your back and your neck. You feel truly relaxed. You smile and feel and accept that physical comfort. The water moves from your neck and your shoulders and they relax the neck and the shoulder. Yes, yes they do. And the water flows over your arms and your arms relax. The light rain flows over your back, your chest, your stomach. And you take another deep breath in. And as you release it, you feel your chest, your stomach relax. The water moves over your legs and your feet. And that relaxing continues. And that beautiful light rain gently touches, cleanses, and refreshes your body. You feel the water slowly move beneath your feet and into the earth. Your body is at ease. Your mind is peaceful. You see the beauty of the earth. You feel the beauty of the peace. You take another deep breath 
and gently release. Visualizing the clouds above you and a beautiful golden ray of light shining down, touching the very top of your head and that warm light gently entering your body. Feel every cell peacefully filled and gently energized. You are golden radiance. Hold this image as your entire body is aglow. Each and every cell, every molecule of your being, feeling that golden light energy, that golden light energy of love and true creativity shared with the oneness of the divine, shared with the oneness of this gathering in community. That beam of light is shining within your heart mind and you take a very deep breath in and as you gently release that breath, send that beam of light to another person here with us this morning. See it gently enter their heart. And now that beam goes from one heart to another and another until the light beams connect the hearts of every person here. Sharing the grace of love, the grace of creativity, the grace of our spiritual truth. And now we see the entire planet covered with golden light beams of love, creativity, and peace. And we are sharing that beauty. And we open our heart, mind, and the sea. we see the people with hands raised, sharing the light of grace with all living beings. We feel we're truly connected, beautifully radiant. We feel the radiance of that divine grace and oneness and we gratefully accept we are creative we are wholly loving we accept our truth we accept our gifts by extending each of those to all and by this acceptance and by this sharing we bring blessings to our world and we see the truth in our unity our oneness and we release the seeming appearances in the world that are not true. We gratefully bless each other, truly grateful to our brothers and sisters of unity of Payson and interfaith community and all spiritual faiths that share their love. Now take another slow, deep breath. Feel your peace. Know your truth. Be your creativity. And when you are ready, open your eyes. And as you open your eyes, look around this room, see the beauty, see the light, affirm the creativity in each being here. And Feel the gratitude for all for sharing today. And let me tell you, I am grateful. Thank you. Oh, Reverend Julianne, thank you. I'm feeling like I need a couple chimes after that. Um, I don't know if that's just to get me back or to set the energy that you just spoke for us. So let's just use the sound, this vibration, to set our creativity, our oneness, and like she said, the gratitude that we all have this gift.
Okay. Open your eyes. Let me double check everybody's back off traveling through the universe there. That's what usually happens to me. I have to really pull myself back. Okay. Now's the time for our gifts and our offerings. And Unity of Payson is grateful for all of the gifts, um, time, talents, treasures, however you choose to give. We appreciate it because we end up tithing out to the larger community. We just tithed out to the Payson Senior Center. So uh, we are a tithing unit also. In a moment, we'll have a, uh, an offering song, If You Make It So, by Daniel Namod. Uh, for those of you online, the uh, slides for how to give um, are up. And during the song, there'll be plenty of time to do that. Here in person, while we're still, oh, Julianne, you had your, your things to pass out, and we didn't, we didn't get to that. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks, Rick. Uh, during the um, offering, we'll pass those out. Um, and then if you want to uh, say an extra few words about those. So I didn't want to interrupt you when you were talking. So while we're feeling this energy, let's charge up your gift with creativity. As it goes out, it will creatively bless the world. And we say together, Freely we give, and freely we receive. It is beautiful 
once you finally know that you and God alone will make it so. I think we need to tell ourselves that every day, that we can make it so. Now's the time for the dedication of the offering. If you can say it with me, please. Divine love flowing through us blesses and multiplies all that we are, all that we have, all that we give, and all that we receive. We are abundantly prosperous, and we give thanks. Yes, we do. <sighs> and our speaker next week will be our own Reverend Neil, and his talk title is, What a Marvelous Creation You Are. And what a great follow-up to your message, Reverend Julianne. So yes, you guys were on the same page. Yeah, <laughs> you play well. <laughs> And uh, we continue on then with the new theme, created to be creative. And now we have a few announcements. And like I said, do check the Monday E! newsletter for everything that's going on. Um, and when we get done with the announcements before we circle up, we will have the birth, this is birthday Sunday also. So first we have um, A Course in Miracles on uh, Two, it won't be this week, will it? Because Reverend Neil's in Mexico. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be the the third Tuesday in August uh, from three to four thirty, and um, these are all on Zoom unless it states otherwise. And next, thank you, Tom. We're having another sunset on the rim. Friday, August 9th at 6.15 for drumming. Sunset's about 7.15. Bring a chair, a jacket, even though it's summertime, it gets cool up there pretty darn quick. And some kind of drum or rattle, some kind of no noisemaker, yes. Um, it's the uh, second um, organized turnoff spot, Rim, Rim Vista. Yeah, it's the Woods Canyon Lake exit, and then once you're on the Woods Canyon Lake Road, it's the second organized parking area. You can talk to Tom afterwards to be sure you know where you're going. There'll be a bunch of us there. And uh, next we have, um, let's see, normally we have Saturday Soul Boost on Saturday at four, but again, they're in Mexico, uh, so it, yes, they're, yeah, no, it's, they're gone for a whole week. Um, so, and normally that's when Reverend Neal uh, discusses the message that he's got for uh, the next day, and it's always a fun discussion. And obviously there's no PS from Reverend Neal. Um, I just wanted to highlight, we do still have quite a few pieces of Marion Morrow's uh, pottery from her memorial service, and any of the uh, donated funds for that go to the church. So do take time to take a look at the beautiful uh, pottery that she has done. And, and the family graciously donated these pieces to the church as a fundraiser. And uh, let's see. So um, we have potluck, so do stay for that. And we'll be circling up here um, in a minute. We'll sing the birthday song and then we'll do the peace song. So anybody that has an August birthday, you have to stand in the middle and be sung to. Thank 
sickness in all my daily life. I reflect, listen, and open my heart and mind to hear my creative song. Each and every day, may the loving power of my creativity be expressed and shared. Yes, today and every day, I celebrate my creativity. Yay. Now we can circle up. Okay, let me see. We've got Diane and Bill. I know he was there. Cliff and Rochelle. Liz. 
everybody. Hello. See you. Marcella. Marcella. Awesome. Good to be with you all. Thank you. Have Thank you. Week. Have a good week. Love you. Bless you. Love you. Love you. I'll take it tenfold. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great week. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>